Okay, welcome back, and here's the demonstration of the descent procedure. I know this is done, if you look at the map here, it's done quite far out. This is just purely as it's a cruise procedure to be done, usually within the last half an hour before top of descent. Uh, it's just done here. It doesn't really matter where we are, we're just talking through things and setting things up. So, first things, check the centre tank fuel pumps. They're already off from the centre tank draining earlier in the flight. Verify the pressurisation landing altitude set to the landing threshold altitude. Ibiza is 24 feet, so set to zero, that's the nearest 50. Recall and review all system enunciator lights, so it can be pressed from either side. All six here, all six on the other side, let go and no lights remain. Fail operational aeroplanes, verify auto land advisory messages are not shown, so press cancel recall. We get the auto land status here if there's any problems. Enter VREF on the approach REF page. A couple of ways of doing this, my personal way. Progress page shows you you land here in Ibiza with 2.7 tonnes. Go to the Perth page. So 2.7 tonnes to land on the zero fuel weight is 57.2. Go to the approach ref, 57.2. We're intending on a flaps 30 landing. Flaps 30, so you can either press to bring it to the scratch pad and then put it into here. Or if you just double click it, it automatically puts it there for you and the reference then VREF30 appears on the bottom left hand corner of the PFD. Set the approach, so here's the ILS approach chart. As you can see, minima Cat1 ILS, 260 feet. So we've set that here to give us 260 feet. That will give us the approaching decision height and minimums call. Set or verify the navigation radio and course for the approach. ILS runway 06 Ibiza 111 decimal 1, 111 decimal 1 set on both sides. Inbound course 062. Inbound course 062. Check landing performance. So within half an hour of descent we obtain the most up-to-date ATIS and here's the performance so you can see here we have a selection of auto brake settings which you then use to set depending on where you would like to vacate the runway here just for demonstration purposes we'll use auto brakes 3 do the approach briefing, so you brief your colleague. Then call for the descent checklist. So here's the descent checklist. Short and sweet, but that would be completed before uh, top of descent. And the next video will show the actual descent and approach and landing into Ibiza.